YouTube. What's going on, you dude? Heat Ledger here, back with another video. This time we're going to be looking at the Jordan One Off White UNC colorway. This is a beautiful shoe, and we have one fake pair here, and we have one real pair here. Now, before I get into the video, it's going to be a real versus fake comparison. Um, let me know in the comments which one is real and which one is fake. Can you guys tell? You guys are experts out here. I know you could probably maybe spot some differences. I don't know. You let me know in the comments. All right, so before I let you know which one is real, which one is fake, um, the fake pair is actually from sort of a friend of mine. It's a guy uh, I follow on Instagram. We follow each other, actually. Lives in the Toronto area, and he hit me up, uh, and he said, hey, look, um, I know you know you know, a lot about kicks. You got the retails. What do you think about these? Are they real? And I told him, uh, I'm not sure. I can, you know, send you a few photos of my retails. You know, where'd you get them? How much do you pay? And he said, I just wanted to see if you could tell they are fake. I said, oh. And then it kind of got me thinking, now that I'm doing YouTube, uh, you know, videos here and there again, I thought, you know, why not do a real versus fake comparison? I did a Space Jam 11 comparison a long, long time ago, um, and you guys really enjoyed it, so I thought, you know, for those that are just curious and those also looking to purchase an authentic pair, it's probably a good idea to know the shoe inside out to ensure that you are not buying a fake pair and paying that authentic retail price. So for those that have already guessed, this is the authentic, and this right here is the fake. And I'll be going into um, some of the details now, basically, you know, breaking down the construction, materials, um, and then just a couple differences that will help you ensure that you're buying, you know, a legit pair. So, um, just for the sake of the comparison, I'll make sure the real is always going to be on the left, and we'll keep the uh, fake on the right. I'll first start off, actually, with the box itself. So, um, before you let me borrow the, the kick, so basically I just said, hey, look, I'm doing a real versus fake comparison. Where do you live? You know, are you kind of in the area? He ends up being a condo pretty close to me. He said, uh, feel free to take them. I haven't worn them yet. They're not gonna be the exact same size. So he actually wears a 10.5, I wear an 11. But I said, that's probably gonna be close enough. Um, he bought it off one of those DH gate or one of those wholesale websites and they fit small. So he made sure he got a size up so I mean in any case they're gonna look a little smaller I think and the box is gonna look smaller but that's just an FYI and a little background on him I mean he didn't want to be in the video and he's not really a, a sneaker guy I guess you could say I mean people that are watching this now we're super super into these shoes we're you know willing to pay this price there's a lot of people out there that aren't um, and for him he was like look I really want this shoe I don't want to pay like a thousand dollars for them so, I mean, that's his decision. That's what he wanted to do. I'm not going to go into a discussion on that. That's kind of just on you. Um, so let's just get right into the boxes themselves. I mean, right off the bat, this is nice, crisp, and this box is always kind of beat up. That's, I mean, it's typically what happens. This, you know, seems like pretty poor construction. They do have the, um, or the uh, window rather. So that's fine. Um, so besides the shapes and construction being a little different, size tags on the authentic. And the size tag on the fake. I'd say they're pretty similar. The tags are pretty much the same. I mean, I'm not really gonna, I wouldn't really advise on just going off the boxes. You know, obviously, you know, make sure they have a receipt. The laces, I'm not really gonna go into details there. I didn't really look at them um, in comparison, but okay, so this is significantly lighter in color. It's a little washed out on the camera. But yeah, when I turn it down, you can see the authentics are much lighter and the fakes are 
much darker. The packaging, I mean, this plastic wrap pretty much feels the same. I'm not really gonna, I'm not really gonna go into the box and the packaging too much. Let's just get right into the sneakers. All right, so again, uh, retails on the left, fakes on the right. Let's just look. First thing I noticed, I think, was the toe box. So let's just look at that first. Now I'll actually take this one away. Take that away. So if you look at the authentic toe box, whoa, you'll see that there are some of those indentations on a typical Jordan 1, and then on the the fakes, there really isn't like anything. Um, I know my camera might be a little washed out, but it's hardly noticeable. Even when I'm looking at it just in person here, you can hardly notice. So I would look there right away. And then the biggest thing I'm gonna tell you, um, and I don't know if you can tell right now, is that stitching. Look at the stitching on the uh, authentic. Double stitching, and there's also double stitching here, but it's much closer together. I would say that's probably one of the biggest indicators. If you are looking, I'm sure that there's that double stitching, but it's just placed differently. It has that separation running all on the toe box. Whereas you see here, it's you know, the craftsmanship isn't as good, and it's really, really close together all along the front there. I would immediately look there. Moving up the shoe itself, I mean, the, the, just I'll just say overall, the quality of these materials is just, it's so good. Like this leather is really, really good. It feels, you know, it's got some give to it. And if you go here, incredibly flimsy. It feels almost like paper. You know, the leather is cheap. You can obviously tell. You might not be able to tell from the look, but when you feel it, even the tongue, it just doesn't feel right. Whereas this feels like it's kind of staying in place. And this is a little more, it's much flimsier, right? Um, Color-wise, you want to look for an all-white tongue. All right, it's just super white. What I notice here is it's a little, it's almost like a, it has like a shade of blue to it, right? The tags here, I noticed look pretty much the same. I won't even go into that detail. Um, I did do little, you know, checks like how many lace holes does it have? Um, they got that exactly the same, so that's not really an indicator. The 85, I didn't really see too many differences here. Um, only differences, I mean, the color overall on the inside is a little darker, or a little more muted, I guess. Um, but on the outside of the shoe, they're actually pretty much the same color. So I wouldn't really go by that either, but again, look at the material. I mean, this kind of just, it stays, it's, it's thick, it's firm. Right, as you go here, there's absolutely no give. It's just, it's just completely floppy. So if you're feeling something cheap, if you're paying a thousand dollars and you're, and this is happening, that's probably your number one indicator. I'd be very, very cautious of that. Um, you know, if you're meeting up locally and you wanna, and you wanna double check. Now that we're in the the front area here, I'll just jump right to the the tags. Um, they just can't seem to get this tag correct. This is what the authentic tag looks like. It's upside down here. And then when you go to the fake tag. It's much smaller in size. The font is off. It just doesn't look right. This also feels incredibly cheap. Um, this firm, and it's good quality. Moving to the side, so I'll actually switch this shoe up so we can take a look at these side by side. Again, retail, authentic, and this is the fake here. You want to look at the Wings logo. I mean, it's crisp, it's clean, no flaws. I mean, it looks more or less the same, but the lettering, I mean, that O, there's a little flaw there. 
just look for little imperfections. I mean, this shoe should not have those those types of imperfections. So if you're starting to see a few, then you know there's a, there's an indicator. Um, again, remember the size. It's going to be a little smaller here. That's why it looks a little off. So I'm not going to use that as a major indicator. But look at the swooshes. Um, to me, I mean, this swoosh seems a little a little bit smaller. Um, whereas if you see here, it's just it's got a bit more length. Um, it actually reaches near the back of that Wings logo, whereas this one, this one doesn't. Doesn't make it all the way there. It's flimsy. This is attached. This isn't. Right. So make sure your your logo on the on one end is stitched on. This just feels like it's in place. Whereas this is, again, going back to being incredibly flimsy and, and kind of floppy. The Air itself on the authentic lined up with that um, the stitching here in that eye and then we look here the air is less you know profound it's it's not as bold and it doesn't really line up with that that double stitch I'm not entirely sure if that's uniform across all retails but in this case that's what it looks like. Um, in addition I mean I'm not gonna go off the feel of this material I'm not gonna lie to you this feels a little rough, whereas this feels a lot furrier. The um, the actual suede—I don't think this is real suede—but the actual suede feels like longer hairs on the on the fake versus the authentic, much shorter hairs. So the color also looks a little off. If you want to look at that, a little darker there versus it's kind of more of a light gray, right? They did the single stitching all across. I mean, that's the same there. The stitching apart from the toe box is surprisingly good, so I'm not really going to use that as an indicator. I'm going to flip over to the heel. The heel was tough for me to really make any discoveries on, I guess you could say. I mean, look at the, uh, on the authentic on the left, the, the, the paint job is perfect, there's no issues there, and then look at the heel here. It's sloppy, it, it does not look right, you would never see a retail pair with that. So make sure you just check all the, you know, the paint job on the shoe. It's, it should not look like that. So that's, I mean, that's the biggest thing. In terms of this back heel, I didn't really see a major difference there or enough to say, hey, look, that's where you want to look to. Um, another thing for me, I guess this is the, uh, the second biggest thing besides the stitching, is how the font is on the uh, inside of the shoe. So. The top retail, this is the fake. Look at how clean the, the text and the script is. It's completely horizontal. There aren't any issues there. Um, looks very, very clean, you know? And then you go to the, the fake and it has, it's kind of like leaning up. Um, you now the text is the same. I mean, it's more or less in the same font. Looks a little smaller here and you know just not just not aligned I mean I can show you this on the other side as well look how it's kinda just slanted just doesn't look right whereas on the authentic both pairs the text is perfect I mean that's how it should be right um, the outsole I'm not really gonna go into that <laughs> unfortunately it kinda looks the same and it's not really it's, it's not really uh, easy to differentiate those two. I mean, if I really had to sum it up, um, again, it would be number one, looking at that stitching, the toe box, double stitching, clean, crisp, there's no flaws. And then you look here, they're, you know, together. Um, it's way too narrow and, you know, there's some inconsistencies in the actual stitching itself. Um, also looking at the toe box, make sure there's that, I guess it'd be those perforations in the toe box, you just don't have any in the fake, but it's very defined and profound in the retail. Look at the colors of the tongues, you know, make sure this is white, should not have like a shade or like a blue hint or a, a, a kind of a beige hue to it. And then overall, um, besides the text that we just went over, make sure the materials are, are firm, you know. Even if you don't have the retail on hand, this should not feel cheap. It should not feel like paper. Like I feel like I could, if I rip, I could just tear this off. 
Um, whereas this is, you know, you have that that quality. You, this, this is actual leather from, from my understanding, whereas this is, you know, this is something else. So, all right, I hope this was, you know, somewhat helpful to you guys, especially for those trying to get this authentic pair. You don't want to be, you know, purchasing a fake pair for that price set. You know, it's, it's really scummy for people that do do that. And, you know, as great as this whole culture is, there's a lot of people that want to take advantage of people looking for this shoe and just don't know where to look and the signs and that kind of thing. So hopefully this was informative and educational. If you do have any other questions, you want me to follow up with any other, you know, photos of this shoe or you're unsure at all, feel free to hit me up on my Instagram. Um, I got the link in the description box down below. Comment below uh, your thoughts, any feedback, suggestions. Always appreciate that. And as I said before, uh, you know, really appreciate anyone that subscribes. If you do, thank you very much. I'm going to do Heat Sign out. Peace.